today we're going to focus in on elimination, um, and then we're going to um, add that to our toolbox. So what I would like you to do now is I would like you to try and remember the process of elimination by solving this particular problem using the elimination method. This is different than substitution, yes. Yes, this is elimination, not substitution.
it's going in there. So then that gets me negative 2 x plus 3 times 4 equals 13. 3 times 4? 12. 2x plus 12 equals 13. Negative 2x equals 1. x equals negative 1. times negative one half? Negative four. Negative four. Two times four? Eight. Negative four plus eight. Is four equal to four? Checked in the left one. Negative two times negative one half? One. Three times four? One plus twelve? Thirteen. Thirteen equal to thirteen. Final answer? Negative one half comma four. Negative one half comma four. Yeah. Okay. So the other those steps again. Okay. Solve the after you get cancel out. We solved it. Then we substituted our answer into one of the two original equations to solve for the other variable, and then we checked our work. Okay? What's the most important step of them all? Checking your work. Because then you know if you're right or not. You don't have to rely on an answer key online. Or you don't have to rely on, Liz, why is this one wrong? Or why is this one not right? Well, because it's wrong because you didn't check it. equals 11. 
3 times 11 is 33. 4 times 6 is 24. 33 minus 24 is 9. 9 is equal to 9. Negative 4 times 11 is negative 44. 7 times 4 is 28. Negative 44 plus 28 is negative 16. And that is equal to negative 16. So my answer is 11, comma, 4. Get plug it back into both. Oh, the, the blue, the Y? No. Yeah, the Y. For when we back, no, it doesn't matter when we plug it back into both. Yeah. But the check, both. What's wrong? Okay, I'm not going to worry about you at all. Thanks. Go for it. So if this were me, since I'm the one with the magic stylus, I would write this equation first as 3x plus 4y equals 1. And I would write this equation as x minus 10y equals 6. Got to get everything lined up. xy equals no. Then I would multiply this bottom equation by negative 3. So that gives me 3x plus 4y equals 1. And on the bottom, I get negative 3x plus 30y equals negative 18. Add those two equations together. Gives me 34y equals negative 17. Divide both equations by 30, or both sides, excuse me, by 34. Gives me y equals negative 1 half. If I put negative 1 half back into an equation, I'm going to go x equals 6 plus 10 times negative 1 half, negative 10, or negative 1 half times 10 is negative 5, 6 plus negative 5 is 1. If I try this out then, 4 times negative 1 half is negative 2. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 is equal to negative 2. 1 is equal to 6 plus 10 times negative 1 half is negative 5. 1 is equal to 1. Checks out in both equations. So I get 1 comma negative 1 half. Questions, comments, concerns? As long as you use the elimination because that's what the direction said. Depends on which variable you eliminate. You know. situations, uh, just like they were uh, the other day, we've got our infinite and our no solution uh, type cases. 
So how those look now um, with elimination is, so you set up elimination normal the same way. X, Y equals number all the way through. Pick a variable to eliminate. Well, I want to eliminate X's in this case. So I'm going to multiply this equation by positive 2. If I do that, then I get 6x minus 12y equals 28. Bottom equation would stay the same. When I go to add the equations, my x's, yes, get eliminated. My y's, oh, those get eliminated. So that leaves me with nothing on that side. And then I get 12 over here. That's a false statement. My variables have dropped out. False statement. So this would be the no solution. Zero equals something other than zero is no solution. In this case, it's already set up for us. Sometimes we get lucky like that. The x's go away, the y's go away, and the numbers all went away. So in the end, I get 0 equals 0. If you have 0 equals 0, that's our infinite solutions case. Variables drop out, gives me a true sentence, that's infinite solutions. So we still have special cases even in elimination as we did in substitution. Okay. That's the same is what we had before. Let's try a word problem. We all love them. Except this time we'll use elimination. $2,384 in revenue was made from the 378 adult passes and 214 children passes sold at the county fair. An adult pass costs $2 more than a children's pass. Find the cost of an adult and a children's pass into the county fair. So I need two equations because I've got to find two things. For everything that you've got to find, you need an equation. Yes, sir. You had me and then you lost me. You lost me at the point of never mind. So I started never minding. So you want to start again? Okay. Uh, what would be 2x plus y equals 2,384? Uh, don't like it. One, because I don't know what x and I don't know what y is. Um, x being the adult pass. Okay. And, and y being? Are you okay with X being adult passes and Y being children passes? Unless you want to make it A and C? Okay. All right, let's go A and C. So what do you got for A and C for me? What do you mean? Well, you had your hand up. I don't like her equation, just so you know. Oh, I did uh, 378A plus... Hold on, 378A plus 214. Two 
Love it. My other one is... And what's your other one? C plus 2 equals A. Can I go A plus equals C plus 2? Yeah. Okay. Love it. So, to set up elimination, you want to go elimination? Let's do it then. Okay. So the top equation is going to stay the same. We want to eliminate C or A? A. A. Okay. So this is really going to be A minus C equals 2. Yes? So what variable do you want to eliminate? C. Let's eliminate C. Okay. So I'm going to have to multiply this equation by how much? 214. Oops, I forgot the A in this one. So that's going to be 214A minus 214C equals... 428. 592. 2 carry the 1, 9 carry the nothing, 592, yes. 2, carry the 1, 1, carry the 1, 8, 2, 28, 12. Method. So far we have three of them. 
We have graphing, we have substitution, and we have elimination. Okay? If it specifically says use one of those three methods, that's the method I want to see. So if it says use elimination, I want to see the elimination work. If it just says solve and doesn't say specifically how to solve, I don't care how you solve it. You can pick. Okay? You're big boys and big girls. Okay? You got up this morning, you put your big boy pants, your big girl pants on, came to school. Okay? Okay? 